Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the Amstrad member. So let's first create the Java class with name Amstrad member. So let's create main method here. So before starting the program, uh, first we need to understand what is Amstrad member. So Amstrad member is nothing but the mth digit number which is equals to the sum of mth power of each digit so the definition might be tricky but if you take the one of the example here i'm just using the one type m333 so the count of this 153 digit is 3 so the length of 153 is 3 so total three digits are there so the length of this uh, number is 3 so if you take the each individual one first one digit first one digit i am taking so this has to be three times we need to apply the power so one power three means one into one into one along with plus and also next digit is five So 5, 5 into 5 into 5 plus and the next digit 3 into 3 into 3. The total value is 1 plus 125 plus 27. So the total value is 1. So the input value and also the sum of mth power of each digit is the result also be perfect. So let's start the program. I just want to take the input value from uh, arguments. So integer dot percent arcs of zero. So two things we need to find out here. One is the count of uh, means the length of the digit. For to find the length of the digit, I will going to write one program. Length of length of number. Okay. So I'm just going to take the take the number from here. So to count the length of the number, just I will take the count equal to zero at the first. And while number greater than zero. So here I'm just going to increment the count here and number equal to number divided by 10. <coughs> so and then later also we need to find for the here I'm just going to return the count value and then here I'm going to find the power of just power functionality. For this, I will have to take the int value and the power value. So here I just take a power result. Initially, I will append as one while power greater than zero. So here what I have to do, uh, I just power result equal to power result into the value what we are taking from the input. I am just I'm take, uh, decrementing the power value. Here I am just returning the power result. So we did uh, return the pre-related functions that is length of the number and power of each number. So now we have to go to the actual logic. From the actual logic, we have taken the each individual digit and applied the power with the help of length of the given number. From the programmatically, what I should do? So here I started from the starting digit. Now I from the program I do from the ending digit. What I do? Three into three into three plus 
5 into 5 into 5 plus 1 into 1 into 1. So it will also be the same. 27 plus 125 plus 1. The answer being 150. So you, either we can start from it start digit or end digit but to the programmatically I, I would prefer to start from end digit why because we have to apply the uh, modulus operators for to get the remainder and also quotient values so that is the best approach from java so i do while n greater than zero so before that i just want to assign this value into this uh, in n value into some other variable so what I do here, initial value greater than zero. So in that case, what I do, I would prefer to take the one remainder value outside. So remainder equal to remainder plus. So not remainder. I just take the initial value percent ten. means modulus 10 modulus 10 means it will take the last digit of the number 3 i will get so in this case i have to take the sum also into sum equal to 0 sum equal to sum plus so i have written the power value so to access this power function since our main method is a static function either we need to make this length number and also power as static methods or we can create the object of this class and then we can access i would prefer to take the object of this class take here <coughs> m strong number power of so and also uh, i would pause remainder here the power value I will get so for that I will take a power value or uh, length of digits length of input number is equal to just take power length of number here just we need to pass the the initial value and passing this value here and initial value equal to initial value divided by 10 so divided by 10 means it will remove the last digit each time and the next iteration the initial value come with 15 and the third iteration the initial value will come with 1 each time by 10 means the least value will be removed for each equation that is what we are doing here so after doing entire thing we i am just doing a check if some equal equal to i means i am just printing some so here not i in our system system dot how dot print ln the given number is I'm strong I'm just printing the end value so since it is a system dot order print time we have to use appender as a plus operator and system dot how dot print ln the given number is not am strong So let's go to the program. We have created the M strong and just want to pause the 153 as the input here. Apply. Okay. Pausing here. Here we could see 153 as the input. This is the positive case. Let's change this one as a uh, 154. Apply. Okay. If we run this one. So that 154 number is not in Amstrad number. So similarly, uh, another case we want to see here. I want to take a, the range of values. For example, I want to take from 100 to 200. 
and want to find a uh, Armstrong numbers between 1 to uh, 100 to 200 are within a given range of uh, values what we are taking from the input. So for that, I am just making this one as a start count, start value or and similarly another statement i want to prefer similar way this i would take end value take the for loop here for int i equal to start value i less than equal to end value i plus plus keep an entire thing inside of this first statement so here our n is nothing but i here also I will change to I and we need to give the two parameters from the input for example if we edit this one I want to find the Armstrong numbers between 100 to 200 that is the range I am going to give here and once we run this class Uh, so here we are giving only one this is the mistake we have to take a second parameter here let me run it again so here if you see 153 only the value being the Armstrong and remaining all are not Armstrong within the range of 100 to 100. I am also just printing the count here after the first statement let's see yeah after the first statement system dot out dot printl one the count of prime numbers have been start value and end value is so for that i need to find a count rate uh, i would prepare int count of amstrong numbers so initial i will assign as zero i would prefer to increment here uh, because this is the condition where we are going to find the Armstrong so count of Armstrong so this has to be plus operator since we are using system operator printer let's run this program if you see here only one value that is the 153 is the prime uh, Armstrong so. so similarly if I want to find from 100 to 1000 apply okay total four Armstrong numbers are being there but from this list it is difficult to show I just remove the yell spot here then we can find which are exact the Armstrong numbers yeah so 153 370 371 and 407 these four numbers are the Armstrong numbers from 100 to 1000 so thanks friends please subscribe and like my channel so we will look for the next program in the next session thank you